What is up you guys? For today's video, I'm going to share with you guys how to get this really fun spring look that's very vibrant and very just like blushy. I don't know, it's a lot different than a lot of my looks lately, but I am literally obsessed with it. And the palette that we use today is the Sugar Pill Capsule Collection C1 palette. I feel like this palette is literally like the perfect spring palette because it's just so pastel and it also just has like a little bit of vibrance to it. And I don't know, I really liked it so I thought we would use it again today. But if you haven't already, I would really appreciate if you hit the subscribe button down below and give this video a like. And also, if you'd like to check me out on Instagram, my Instagram account is at lethal underscore kitten where I post a bunch of tutorials over in there if you're looking for some inspiration. Before we even think about jumping into the palette, we gotta prime our eyelids first and I'm going to be using my absolute favorite from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So for today's look, I want to do something very like fun and fresh and also really monochromatic. I haven't done a monochromatic look on my channel here, so I thought it would be really fun if we did one today. And the palette that we are going to be going in with is this Sugar Pill, I believe it's called the Capsule Collection C1 Pink Edition Palette, which is a really long title for a palette. I don't know why companies make such long titles for the palettes and makeup products, like who's going to remember that? But with this palette, I want to go in with these really beautiful purple shades right here. I feel like they're going to be perfect for this style of look. And if you'd like to see my original review on this palette, I'll have it linked in the description box down below for you. So the first shade that we are going to be going in with is this really beautiful pastel lavender shade called Baby Doll. So I'm just going to apply Baby Doll with this Anastasia, I believe it's called an A6 brush, and it's a really dense blending brush. And it's literally perfect for these one shadow type of looks because it can really pack on shadow as well as blend out the edges. It's kind of like a multi-purpose brush in a way. But ooh, she is pigmented. Oh, I love that color. So to apply this shadow, I'm just like packing it on right on top of that eye primer, like really pressing it in. I'm not really worried about blending out the edges yet. I just want to make sure that we have a really nice base color down. And then once you're happy with it, then I'm going to start doing those little circular motions to buff out the edges. And with this too, you do want to go out a little bit farther because we are going to be doing more of a monochromatic look today. And if you have a hard time blending out those edges and they're still looking a little bit more on the chunky side, you can just go in with a clean blending brush and go right over those edges. And when you're doing that, you want to do these little circular motions just to kind of buff them out a little bit. Now you could leave this look as like a one shadow monochromatic look because let's be honest, it looks really pretty right now. But at the same time, I really want to try out this Milani Eye Topper in the shade Lola Pabalooza. I don't know why I have the hardest time saying this one, but I recently used a peach yellow one from the Ludacris Lights Collection and I was absolutely obsessed with the formula. So I really want to try out this one today. And if you'd like to see the look that I use that in, I'll have it linked in the description box down below for you. And this one's like a really pretty like duochrome, like bluish purple moment. So what I'm going to do is apply it right to the center of my lid. Oh man, like that is pretty. And then I'm just going to take my finger and then lightly tap it out. Because I don't want to do like anything like a cut crease. I don't want to do anything like super crazy today. I want to do things really soft. And then afterwards I'm going to do a second layer. And when I'm applying it, I'm not like swiping it either. I'm kind of like dabbing it on. So we can get that maximum shimmer effect. Man, like this shadow is so cool though. I will say though, keep in mind, like this will knock up the shadow underneath of it. Because I can see like it's looking a little patchy right in here. You can definitely see like it's taking up my shadow off real bad. I don't know if you like this too, but I get so frustrated when things like this don't work and it looks so chunky. Like I just feel like literally defeated. But what I'm doing is like reapplying it and then I'm gonna take this Sigma E25 brush. It's like a little flat, like little blending brush. And I'm going to start tapping out the edges. What I'm learning from these is that you can't really layer them. So do keep that in mind if you do get these and you've never used them before. Like they look really cool, but you do not wanna do more than one layer. Cause that's what I'm noticing is giving me that kick up. And you also wanna work in a light layer too. You guys have no idea how much of a hot mess it was to fix this eye right here because it was getting so chunky and almost like flaking off in a way, but I feel like I fixed it, so we're gonna just roll with it. But now we're gonna do liquid liner, and I'm going to go in with this one from ColourPop. It is called the BFF Liquid Liner in the shade Numero Uno. I have been really obsessed with this one lately. If you've never tried it and you're looking for a really nice felt tip liner, I definitely recommend checking this one out. I feel like with liquid liner is one of those things like you can either do it on one swipe or it's going to take you 30 minutes. There is no in between. This pen is making it so that liquid shadow is like flaking off. Ah, that is like so messy. 
I don't know if you guys can see it, but I have like so many little flakies on this pen right now. And I know it's not the pen, it's a shadow because I apply too much of it. It's not even the shadow's fault, it's just my fault. But oh man, is this going to be tricky to apply. Yeah, we don't have time for flakes today, so I'm just going to go in with my ABH one because this one will go over anything and everything. So for mascara today, we are going to be going in with one of my all-time favorites, and this one is from Milk Makeup, and it is the Kush Mascara. Seriously, I really like this one, and what I like about it is that it kind of like conditions my lashes so they don't feel as dry and brittle after removing my makeup, and also it gives like the most beautiful like volumized effect. And then for lashes today, we're going to be going in with these ones from Tarte, and they're in the style Sassy, and they're from the Tarte's Pro line. You know, when I first saw these lashes, I was like, I don't know if I'm going to like them because they just didn't have like that volume that I was looking for. Like when you, you know, like when you look at a lash and you kind of know if you're going to like it or not. Like these ones just did not tickle my fancy, but I really wish I would have used these ones sooner. So for face primer today, we are going to be using one of my favorites. I haven't used this one in a real hot minute because I have been wanting to try out different primers lately, but we're going to be using the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip. I remember when this one launched and everybody raved about it, like it is really good, but I don't really see many people talk about it anymore. So for foundation today, we are going to be going in with one of my favorites from the drugstore. This one is from Milani. It is the Conceal and Perfect, and I'm going to go in with shade Alabaster. And this is actually the lightest one that Milani has. Normally when I wear this one on camera, I usually go in with porcelain. But the other day, I wore a really light foundation, and I loved how it looked because that one actually matched me. It was the Beauty Blender one. And I'm actually going to go in with this Morphe blending sponge. I've never used it before. But I just loved how that Beauty Blender foundation looked because it was like actually my shade. I didn't have like that weird line because a lot of times I wear a darker foundation on camera because people are really nasty if I wear a super light foundation. Like they'll call me like a ghost, they'll make fun of me, telling me that I look too fair. So a lot of times I just don't want to deal with it so I just kind of conform, which is not right. I shouldn't be doing that because that's just not how I am. But you know what, today is a new day and we're going to be trying new things aka using a foundation that actually matches our neck. You know, I have the Jeffree Star version of this sponge and I do not like it. Like it is such a hard sponge and it's just, I don't know, it's like a blending nightmare for me. But for some odd reason, this red one works a lot better. I don't know what the difference is between the two, but this one's actually like really soft too. And also when I was washing it before I used it, it did not bleed in the sink because I hate sponges that do that. And this one didn't. But I've been actually tried out a lot of other Morphe products besides their eyeshadow palettes. I know I tried out their foundation and concealer like back in the day when it launched and that one broke me out so bad. When I was like dabbing here it kind of like went blah, 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 kind of thing. That was really awkward. But nonetheless I've been tried a lot from Morphe. If you guys have ever tried out any of their like lipsticks or like eyeliners like what do you guys like from them besides their eyeshadow palettes and their brushes? Oh baby girl, I look like Casper the Ghost's ugly sister right now. But you know what? At the same time, I know this is a process, so we're just going to roll with it. And I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the shade Amber. Like seriously, this is my favorite contour. I don't know why, but like lately I've been liking to do like fun designs on my head and make myself look kind of weird because it makes like doing makeup more fun. I don't know if you like that too. Especially like contour because it's kind of like, kind of do whatever you want. You're going to blend it out anyways. I'm just going to go underneath my cheekbones because, girl, I had some salty food last night and every time I have something with a little bit too much salt, it always goes into my face. I don't know if you're like that too, but like if I have like, what did we have? We had grilled cheese and I made the bad decision of seasoning my grilled cheese and oh, it went right to my face. She is getting cut and chiseled. I feel so dumb because I don't know how to exactly blend out my contour with this sponge because I'm so used to using like a rounded one and not one with like a harsh edge on it. So it's kind of like what side am I going to go into? I love this Fenty contour. I need to try out that new one once it launches. I don't know if it even has launched but I want to try that one out and I also want to try out this one from Huda Beauty. I think it's called like Tan Tour. I've heard like so many amazing things about it, but having the word tan in it makes me not really want to try it because a lot of times like things that are on the tan side or you know anything that says like bronze, a lot of times they look like super super orange on me. So I'm kind of like apprehensive on trying it. 
I don't know if you like this too, but like new releases have been kind of like stressing me out lately because it's just almost to the point of overwhelming. Like don't get me wrong, like I understand that like there's a lot of makeup brands and that's kind of like why we see a lot of releases right now. Because you know every brand is launching new things. And like some of these brands, it just seems like they're launching things like every single week. And mind you, it's not like ColourPop where it's more on the affordable side, like it's like more on the expensive side. So it's like, how can I keep up? Like I love your products, but like man, like I can't keep up with this price tag kind of thing. I don't know if you guys are like that too, but it's just like sometimes it's like companies like take a break, let me enjoy what I have for a moment and then I'll buy your new stuff. I, I don't know if that's because of like industry or like, you know, stores are making brands launch more stuff or like what it is, but it's like just kind of like take a chill pill for a second. Man, my skin is looking so rough right now. I don't know what it is, but I had grilled cheese yesterday and I wonder if it broke me out really bad because I try not to eat a lot of cheese because I do break out severely from it as well as with the other dairy products. So I don't know what happened, but like this situation, it needs to go away. But for concealer today, I'm going to go in with this one from e.l.f. It is the 16 hour camo concealer in Fair Rose. I haven't really used this all that much and I don't know, I want to try it out again today because I haven't used it in a hot minute. I'm just going to like put it underneath my eyes. I'm actually going to put it right here. Normally I don't use this much concealer, but since my acne is really bad today, we need to like cover it up. Because I mean like don't get me wrong, like this Milani foundation, it has a lot of coverage to it, but your girl has like a little bit too much of like a situation going on, so we need a little bit extra than that. Don't apply your concealer, you gotta wait a couple of minutes before you blend it out because otherwise you're not getting like the full effect of your concealer. Like if you wait a couple of minutes, you will see a huge difference with the coverage of it. So I'm just gonna go back in with this sponge and blend it out. No, I actually really like this concealer with this foundation because I've noticed like this concealer like needs like a certain kind of foundation because otherwise it looks almost dry on me. And I don't know what is up with that because like normally I can wear really drying products and my skin doesn't mind at all. And also like this color though, like I actually really like the color of this concealer. Because I feel like a lot of times with like fair concealers, like they have like the weirdest yellow undertone to them. And this one is like slightly pink. And I just feel like it looks so well, especially with this foundation, like they pair really nicely together. Because like the Milani one, like the lightest one that they have is really, really yellow. I love that concealer, but man, like they need like different undertones for some of them because like they just look really off. But the formula is really nice on it. You know, that is one thing I forgot about this concealer is that if you don't blend it out right away, you can't blend it out at all. And it's going to be kind of a pain in the ass to blend out because I am now regretting my decision. I'm waiting a minute. You want to blend it out right away, otherwise you're going to have a hot mess. You know, honestly, I don't think I like this concealer. Like, at first I was like, ooh, the coverage, but the more that I have worked with it, it looks so damn dry on my skin, and it's just really hard to blend out. Like, even on spots, like, I blended it out right away, like, it just, I don't know, it's like picking up, and I'm just not about it. Like, I know a lot of people really like this one, and also I'm going in with this L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer because I can't get this to blend out. Like, it's just, I don't know, like, this is just a hot, hot mess. Oh girl though, my skin, she is looking rough right now. I hope once we use powder that it'll kind of like melt everything together because I can't get it any better with this sponge. But the next thing that we are going to be doing is going in with cream blush. And I'm going to be going in with this one from Maybelline. It is called a Cheek Heat. It's one of their new kind of products that they have. And it's called Pink Scorch. I really like this stuff. Like if you want to get into cream blush and you don't know where to start, you need to try these out. Now this is going to look really crazy and you're going to be like, girl, you're putting like lipstick on your face, but trust me, it's like a really nice sheer buildable formula. I have really actually been really enjoying these because I wanted to get into cream blushes, but like I don't want to spend, you know, like $30 on a cream blush at Sephora or like Ulta. Like I want to try something a little bit more on the affordable side to see if I like it before like I invest in it. But the formula of these are actually really good. Like. They're really nice and buildable, so if you're like one of those people like you're like, oh man, I don't want something super intense, this one is a really nice one. But like, trust me on this, like these blushes are not hard to work with. Like, I know they look really daunting at first because it's like, oh man, like this looks like lipstick in a way, but like, trust me, they're very easy to use. You know, I'm going to do something a little bit different, so I'm actually going to go in with this Sigma brush with this product on it. Normally, I would go in with a sponge, but I want like a certain kind of look to it, and this is a Sigma F15. And I'm like stippling it upwards, but I'm kind of like rounding it around my eye. I'm going really, really heavy handed with this product too. 
but like I want like a really nice like kind of like blushy moment today. And then for loose powder today, I'm going to go in with this one from Maybelline. It is the Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder, and I'm going to go in with shade 05 Fair. And then using our trusty sponge, I'm going to be going first underneath my eyes. And when I'm applying this to, I'm stippling it in. And then I'm going to go around my nose and then in my smile lines. Now normally I go in with contour powder, but today I want to use bronzer. So instead we're going to be going in with this one from Wet n Wild. And this is the Color Icon Bronzer in the shade Sunset Striptease. And then using this Sigma F40 brush, I'm just going to be stippling it right around the perimeter of my five head. Because girl, it is not cute and we need to get rid of it. And I've actually used this one before and I really liked it because it's not super orange on me and it's also not super cool toned. It's like right in the middle. Because I feel like a lot of bronzers, like they can look real ugly on me, but this is actually really nice and also really affordable. Another thing about this one that's really nice though is that it blends out like a dream. Like you do not have to sit there and fuss with it. I don't know about you guys, but I hate having to sit there and blend out my bronzer for like 20 minutes and having to deal with harsh lines because sometimes they're just so tricky to work with. And this one is really nice. Like there is definitely a reason why it's super hyped. So for lipstick today, we are actually going to be going out with something that used to be my all time favorite. And that is the KVD Vegan Beauty Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Lovesick. And let me tell you, I used to love this one. I've gone through so many of these. I remember when I first got it though, I got it in New York City. And it was like this huge massive Sephora store. I think it was in like Times Square or something along those lines. And oh, I remember like swatching all of these lipsticks. And this is the one that I walked out with because I didn't want like more than one item because I wasn't really into makeup as I am now and I remember it just because of that. I haven't used this one in a hot minute so let's hope that it is okay with the formula. Today is one of those days I already got it on my teeth and I haven't even had it on for 10 seconds. So now we're going to start working on the lower lash line just so things aren't so top heavy right now and the shade that we are going to be going in with is that one that we used earlier called Baby Doll. And then using this Luxie 231 Small Taper Blending Brush, I'm just going to smoke this right underneath the lower lash line. And when I'm doing this too, I'm not going down too far because we do have a really nice kind of like light airy feel to where I look and we don't want it to look a little crazy. So for the inner corner highlight today, we are going to be going in with this absolutely stunning shadow called Supernova. It's kind of like a pastel purple, but it also has like a really cool duochrome effect to it. And then using this little Moda Brushes pencil brush, I'm going to be packing the shit out of this into my inner corner. I'm also bringing it underneath the inner tear area to open up the eye. It's such a pretty color. I just wish it was just like a little bit more bright. You know, like have like a little bit more of like a blinding sheen to it. But I still love the color and it goes so well with that baby doll shade. And then to line my waterline, I'm just going to go in with this pencil from Morphe in the shade Coconut. And then for lower lash mascara, I'm just going to go in with this one from Benefit. It is the Bad Gal Bang. I have been really liking this one so far. I've only used it a couple of times, but I really like it for my lower lashes. I mean, you don't have to go in with powder blush, but I'm going to because I want like a really blushy moment today. So we're going to be going in with this one from Tarte. It is the Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in the shade Dollface. And I mean, like it's really bright, but I also feel like it's going to kind of like fit the vibe. And then using a different Sigma F15, I'm going to be applying it to the apple of my cheek and then stippling it upwards onto my cheekbone. And I'm essentially going right over that cream blush that we applied earlier. I'm also going to kind of like round out around my eye as well. Now I'm not too sure how this is going to work, but for our face highlighter today, we are going to be going back in with Supernova. So I'm going to take Supernova on this Moda Brushes highlighting brush and I'm going to be applying it right to my cheekbone. I'm not too sure if this is going to give a weird cast or not, but I mean, I feel like it's just going to give like that matchy matchy kind of look. But seriously though, like look at how pretty that is. Like it just has like this gorgeous glow with it. And I like that it isn't like super crazy light either. It has like more of like a colored look to it. And also I'm going to kind of like bring it up onto my temples too, just a little bit, like right above my brow. Kind of doing like that C shape. And then I'm just going to lock this baby in place using the Tarte Stay Spray, which is their setting spray. Yeah, shake it first. I love the mister on this though. It is so good. It's like the most fine mist ever. And 
But yeah, so here's the finished look. It is very like spring-like and also really vibrant. And I gotta say, I actually really like the blushy moment. I know it's not gonna be everybody's taste, but for me, I think it's really pretty. And you know, like a year ago, I would have never been caught dead with this much blush on. Like I hated blush. And now look at me, like I practically have it like all over my face right now. And I don't know, I think it's really pretty. And I definitely actually recommend trying out this type of blush style. I think it has like a very like ethereal look to it. I don't know if my camera is picking up how it does look in person, but it just has like this really pretty like rounded effect around the eye and it almost like frames it in a way. But yeah, so in the comments down below, let me know what you think about this look and also let me know, would you wear something like this or is it definitely out of your comfort zone? But as always though, I would really appreciate if you hit the subscribe button down below and gave this video a like. And also, if you'd like to check me out on Instagram, my Instagram account is at lethal underscore kin. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!